The area has constant wind in an abundance. It blows even stronger higher up, making this the perfect spot to harness it. Wind energy is a clean and sustainable source of energy. The project will reach the first phase of commissioning at the end of 2025 with the complete first phase finished in 2026 and the further phases will be finished over 2026 and 2027. So over the next 36 months we'll complete 125 turbines that will generate in the region of 3,000 gigawatt hours, which is a significant amount. It represents about 1.2% of the country's utilization of electricity. And once complete, it will contribute directly to the ESCOM grid. At the end will be a 900 megawatt facility, uh, 750 megawatts of wind and 150 megawatts of solar PV, alongside a large um, battery that we will provide battery storage. The project will also provide about 70% of the Siriti coal mine's electricity needs and supply Sasso with 330 megawatts, reducing the impact of fossil fuels on the environment. The market reform has been excellent over the last two to three years where private players can now build plants such as Mbila Emoyeni and sell to other private users of electricity. So that has really deregulated the market and allowed private players to make these decisions, to build projects and at the end of the day all of this electricity is fed into the electricity grid. So all of this alleviates load shedding and assists in reducing the price of electricity. The country still depends heavily on coal for its energy needs and Mpumalanga's coal-fired power stations supply about 80% of the country's electricity. With climate change and the world's effort to reduce CO2 emissions, clean renewable energy is the way forward. But a balance is needed as mixed energy sources are vital to keep the country's lights on, at least for now. The province, they have delayed the decommissioning of four coal-fired power stations to 2080, so it will give us enough time to deal with J on just energy transition because we want this transition to be just. J is very important, it should not lead to job losses. This project is expected to create at least 2,000 long-term jobs opportunities. They are investing roughly close to 25 billion uh, here in Betal. It's the biggest project in South Africa. On completion, they are saying that uh, they are going to absorb close to 2,000 people on that project. So it means that they are going to create more jobs. So this project is benefiting our people, is even benefiting emerging uh, uh, contractors, SMEs. They the project is expected to be completed in 2027, providing an alternative way to generate energy in the country, where electricity is in high demand and expensive. Dumel Machoho, SABC News, Bethel.